Hello friends, today I'm going to be painting with the Kuratake Gansei Tambi Japanese watercolour paints. This isn't the first time I've used them, so I've already got some swatches here which I'm showing on the camera now. Over recent years these paints have become quite popular in terms of the art world, so I thought that I'd give them a try. Kuratake is the brand name and Gansai is actually the watercolour medium. These paints actually differ quite a lot compared to western watercolours. The way in which they differ is what they're composed of. Paints typically consist of a pigment and also a binder. So for western watercolours the binder is typically gum arabic. This is what makes western watercolours appear more transparent, fluid and matte. Gansai watercolours typically are made with pigment of a combination of single-use animal hide, glue, beeswax, sugar syrup and glycerin. The paint pans in this set are a lot bigger than you'd expect, but this is mainly because Japanese brushes tend to be a bit on the larger side. You probably noticed my very cautious approach by using very watered down colours, but I finally mustered up the courage eventually to use brighter and bolder colours. I feel like using faint layers helps me to figure out where exactly those colours are going to go, so I can just focus on blending these really bright pigments. I was really pleased with the vibrancy of these colours, you can see that they're very opaque and they have a really good colour payoff. I was also experimenting with the white in the set to see if I could get some light highlights, which isn't typically something that I'd use in normal watercolours, so that was really interesting to experiment with. It was really lovely to work with these reds, as you can see how these darker reds blend into the lighter reds, as well as the whites that I've laid down giving this feathery effect. I found this really to be very effective, particularly as I am trying to paint feathers. I should also probably mention why exactly I'm painting parrots today. The main reason is that whenever I look at reviews personally or first impressions, I often find that artists use a very limited palette, so maybe a few colours from a set, and it's really difficult to decipher how exactly all those paints perform in practice. So I thought by painting these parrots it would give me the opportunity to use as many paints as I could in the set to give a really accurate reflection of how well they perform. This is also the reason why I chose to paint a chameleon a few weeks back for the Artful Watercolour set. What I found really interesting about the reference photo that I chose was that the parrot at the front is very detailed, whereas the parrots at the back become a lot more blurry. I thought painting the parrot at the back would really test my watercolour ability and also this set, as I'm trying to use as much water as I can and trying to get rid of those harsh lines to give a blurry effect. At this stage in the painting I was really happy with how the watercolours performed in terms of blending and soft edges, so next was to see how the paints performed when adding layers on top of each other as well as details. As someone who typically paints with acrylics I found these paints to be a joy to work with, particularly in regards to layers. I particularly enjoyed the white as it was very opaque so I was able to add highlights in the areas that I really wanted to to give some good definition. White isn't something I typically consider with traditional watercolours but it was really interesting to use it in this set. As I'm using less and less water in this layering process, it is worth mentioning that I found the paint become a lot more shiny in terms of appearance. This is probably expected though as it is a glue based binder, but for me personally it wasn't an issue but if you like your paintings to be nice and matte it is worth considering. I also thought that the selection of colours provided in the set was really nice, 
as there is a really large variety and it comes at an affordable price for most artists. This 36 set is approximately £30 or around $40, but for the amount of paints that you receive I think it's really good value considering how pigmented the paints are. I wouldn't say these are a replacement for typical western watercolours, but they're just another medium I'd say, such as acrylics and oils as the binder is completely different from normal western watercolours, so they perform a little bit different too, although there is some similarities as I've explained earlier. I personally really enjoy working with these paints and I would recommend them. I think they're really good value for money, but I also enjoy that I can use transparent layers to achieve watercolour effects or even use acrylic type techniques as the paints get really opaque, so I just really enjoy that versatility that these paints have. Be sure to let me know what you think of these paints if you tried them out yourself and as well let me know how you think this painting turned out. See you next time guys, bye!